Hi YouTube, how you doing? Thanks for stopping by. This is Matthew with the Counselors Guild. Today I'll be looking at applying for licensure in the state of Illinois. So if you're not from Illinois, I don't know if you'd get much from this, um, unless you just like hearing my voice. So let's get started. Uh, I was very confused by this process and um, I wanted to make this video to help out. Now I can't guarantee I don't work for the Illinois Department of uh, Professional Regulations. So I can't guarantee anything, okay? I wanna just make that clear. Uh, I just, but I, I will go through what I did and what happened to me and uh, hopefully that can uh, help you out. Okay, so first off is the uh, application. It looks like this. I'm gonna put the link up uh, for, for this in, in, the, in the description, okay? Make sure you read everything. The small print, the bold print, everything. Don't, don't skim through it, all right? Um, so this, this application is for licensed professional counseling in Illinois. That is a provisional license, okay? Not the LCPC, that's full licensure. This is just for LPC. Um, so the first page, read through it. The second page is more instructions and steps. Um, it's important to note um, on the, in this box here, in that box, it tells you what the code is and uh, the fee and what you need to write down on the application, okay? Now, you read through all this. Every form, it describes what every form is. It tells you everything. Um, and if you have any questions, you know, resort back to that or call the, um, the IDPR, yeah. IFD, no, yeah, I, IDPR, I believe it is. Um, <clears throat> and page four is more instructions on each form. Um, on page four, it has the, the address you need to send everything to. Um, and it has the website uh, if you, uh, right there. So if you want to download the application, get it from there. Um, something on elder and child abuse reporting. Uh, just a, a heads up, you know. Be on guard. Report any abuse from to to uh, our most vulnerable. Okay, so the actual application. Okay, so the first five pages is, is instruction details. Uh, make sure you read all that. Don't skip over that. Okay, very important. So the actual application. Um, it looks like this application for licensure. Okay, and. Let's see here. So the first part uh, is basically the profession name, uh, profession code, license method. You know, you're gonna put, you know, licensed professional counselor, code is 178, licensure method is gonna be examination um, if it's your first time. And then the fee's 150, $150, okay? So you gotta send that with the application. Uh, and then there's check mark boxes. You check those, uh, whatever applies to you. Um, and then the bottom part is all information. Um, if you're writing this in pen, be very, very clear in your writing. Don't go too fast. Go slow. Make sure it's legible, okay? You don't want them to disqualify because they, they can't read your name or your address, okay? Um, Social Security number, I think they're going to need that. Um but this is all pretty easy. The, the important, uh, important thing I want to point out is the email. They only contact you through email. Um, so make sure that's legible and a working email, something you check regularly, okay? On to educational information. You're gonna list all your, I think your high school, high school's at the top and then university colleges. Each university you list, you list you have to provide a transcript for. Not just your master's degree, not just, you know, you gotta get all of them. I had uh, three of them. I had to do the associate's degree, bachelor's degree, and master's degree. Okay, and I send all that with the application. It goes in a big envelope. Um, <clears throat> on the bottom of this page, it says specialized training. I'd have to fill that out. I don't have any specialized training, so I don't know about that. 
a record of licensure information. Um, again, you want to make sure if it doesn't apply to you, make sure you're putting NA or not, not applicable. Okay, you don't want to just leave it blank. You want to make sure that you're telling them that I know what this is and it doesn't apply to me. Okay, it didn't apply to me. I didn't have any licensures at the time. So I had to fill any of that out. Uh, next page, uh, personal history information. Uh, it looks like this. Make sure you fill that out and be, be honest. Uh, they do background checks and everything. So make sure you're you know, putting what applies. Be truthful. If you owe child support and tax to Illinois, um, I, I think they'll, they'll uh, uh, decline, um, decline you. Um, but then again, I'm not, I'm not 100% sure on that. Okay, check, check with the, uh, the regulation people. Um, but I don't have any of that, so I was okay. The CCA looks like this, has CCA at the top. You gotta fill that out. Uh, that is for you. Um, so fill that out. Again, you put, you check mark professional counselors and then you just fill out whether or not you're a sex offender, been charged with a, uh, a crime, um, make sure what you check, uh, everything that applies and make sure you sign it. Um, don't go through, don't, don't send this application without going through it real carefully. Make sure you sign everywhere you need to sign. Okay. Important. If one, one paper is not signed, they're going to, they're going to, they're going to, uh, decline you. So make sure you sign everything. Uh, next page is definitions. It's definitions of different, uh, crimes. Uh, certification, certifi certification of education. Okay. Um, it looks like this. It has ED at the top. Okay. And this has to do, uh, you, half of this you fill out and the other half, um, you, your school ad academic advisor fills out, um, or whoever fills up. It has to be done by your school. Okay. So you fill the top part out. The school fills the bottom part. Um, and your academic advisor does it, or they know who does it, okay? So you don't have to worry about any of that bottom part. The next page, you got to make sure that, you know, the school official signs it, but also they put a seal in that box. Make sure they have, they should have a stamp or some type of, like, clamping mechanism that clamps the paper, a seal on the paper, okay? Um, so make sure you have that from your school. They need that. Um, let's see. ACPC. Okay, this was important. This is the this is the reason why I got declined the first time. Um, so I filled out all the information. You know, it's just like you know your personal information, name, date, date of birth. Um, I was going for my LPC, so I checked marked the uh, the one seven eight. Um, put down the school I went to, and then the academic criteria which is right here. Uh, you have to put course title, course number, course year. This is all on your transcript. Um, however, if you are doing core um, and not KCREP, you have to send in a um, class description from the website, from your university website, with all your paperwork, okay? I don't know, I, I'm not KCREP, so I'm not for sure if you have to send anything like that in. But I know for sure if you're core, you want to send in the class descriptions from the website, okay? I didn't send that in. I got, I got declined and had to wait another two months to um, get the uh, exam uh, or register for the exam. So make sure you're doing that. Um, and sometimes, like, you'll take a class and it's not exactly what's on the paper, but you want to find out what is what what it is that you know close to it you know, um, like maladaptive behavior and psychopathology. Like I took that course, but I don't think it was called that. It's called something else. You have to match which one uh, goes with that. Okay. Um, okay. The CT. You don't have to worry about that form if you're just applying. Uh, I didn't. I didn't fill that out. Um, so that doesn't apply to you. 
Certification of Licensing Agency Board. And that should be it. The last one is the LCPC. That's after you get your provisional license. You got your, was it 3,200 hours, two years of experience. You fill this out, send another $150, and uh, you know apply for the uh, next exam <laughs> to get your uh, full license. Okay, so well, that's the that's the application. My recommendations: go slow, read everything, sign every paper. Um, if you have any questions, call. Um, you don't want to wait months and months and months um, to get going on your exam. All right. Okay, so I send this off. You send your one hundred fifty dollars. You send all your transcripts. You send your course descriptions if you have to. And you mail it in one big envelope to um, the address that's given on the uh, was it second page, third page, fourth page, fourth page. Okay. Um, and the Illinois, the people that do this, they they come from all over Illinois. They get together and they review these, and they only do it every other month. So it could take a while before they respond. The application says you gotta wait six weeks before you can even inquire about it, okay? So if they, they get your application, everything looks good, every, every signature is signed, they have all the information, they're gonna send you an email. And that email will say, um, what does it say, like acceptance to exam or something like that. Um, and in that email, they'll give you two links. And this, I did mine back in 2019, May 2019. I can't guarantee these are the same links or if they go to the same people, but I went to two links. One was, um, uh, what was it called? Continental Testing. And the other one was the NBCC. All right, both those websites, you register and you have to pay uh, like a registration fee. Continental Testing was like 98 bucks. NBCC was, I think, 75, um, if I remember right. Uh, yeah, I don't remember. But you need to you need to apply for both of those, okay? And then after a little while, Continental Testing will will notify you that you're you know you're good to go, and they send you the link to the Pearson View testing site, and you sign sign up, and you you know you pick a date, you pay two hundred seventy five dollars for the test, um, and then you go test, okay? The test, the NCE, okay, is not easy. It was 200 questions. It's four hours. I remember using every second of that four hours. Well, not every second. I didn't want to not finish it, so I think I, I stopped around like a minute or two. Um, but it was hard. It's not easy. It's definitely, it, it's what separates the, you know, the professional from the, you know, the, I guess, I don't know, unprofessional counselors. It, it's what separates the uh, the strong from the weak, definitely. Um, I don't ho hope I don't make you too nervous about it. Uh, there are some things that help. What helped me, um, besides actively reading, participating, studying, uh, learning what I needed to do during my master's class, what else helped me was... The purple book and I'm sure you had this if you took the CBC CPCE um, this one is brand new I lost my other one but I bought another one um, this book helped me uh, it helped me stay focused it helped me with just understanding all the theories and 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 you'll never get any questions on the NCE like you find in here they're not that easy the NCE uh, They'll, 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 they make you think. They really make you think. Uh, and it's not, the answers I find were not so clear cut. I remember the CPCE I got up from that testing site and I was like, oh yeah, I got this. The NCE, not so much. That was a long walk from the computer to my locker to the, uh, the, the proctor there. That was, that was a long, uh, anxiety filled walk. But I passed, and it was, uh, it was, I mean, it was uncomfortable, but it's definitely, 
something that made me better. I mean, just through the studying and everything I went through to prepare myself made me a better person. I met a better counselor, more informed. Um, but it's it's not easy. It's not it's, it's not an easy test. Uh, so I took the test. Now, after you take the test, the Continental Testing will send your results to the MBCC, and the MBCC will review it and make sure you know you're good to go and let Illinois know that hey, you passed, you did it correctly. There's no, you know, nothing, nothing going on here, and Illinois will email you your license. Okay. Um, and that's it. I think the license is good for the two years, and then you gotta re uh, reapply. Yeah, three. Uh, yeah, two years. So, uh, I will say once the once the uh, um, Illinois sends that was it Illinois or the Continental Testing. I believe it's the Illinois, the one that says to you know register with these two companies. You have six months from that date, uh, so make sure you're putting the test date in before that six months is up, or you'd have to not reapply to Illinois, but you have to reapply to Continental Testing and NBCC. I think you got to pay those fines again. So, um, yeah. So that was that was that. Um, I hope that helped. Again, I can't guarantee anything. I don't work for for them, um, but that's just what I did. Um, and that's what I experienced. Okay. If you have anything to add to what I said, please do in the comments. If you have any questions, again, I can try to answer. I'm not, but I don't work for them, so I can't guarantee anything. Uh, I had to call them quite a few times just because of all the. It, it wasn't just. The application, it was all the other like middlemen, the MPC and the Continental Testing and Pearson View. It was like, who do I talk to about things? So that was really confusing. But Continental Testing, I will say, they have a, a great response. Uh, I, I got emails really quickly from them. Um, the MBCC, too, they, they emailed me really quick and explained things to me. So... I, the Illinois Department of Professional Regulations, I mean, they, um, I mean, I wasn't, I didn't have to call up there very much except for asking about uh, my supervision hours, but to, I didn't have much problem with them. It, it was, I mean, it was a little bit of weight, but, you know, what can you expect? It's a state-run agency, you know. Okay, I think that's it. That's all I have. Um, good luck. If you're working on this and um, if you you know if you need help with your NCE there's plenty of study guides out there NCE even has their own study guide and tell uh, on your phone you can get an app you know I did the, uh, the the Rosenthal app that went with this you know um, but that's it that's all I have thank you all for for watching um, please watch my other videos if you're interested in counseling uh, therapy uh, I try to um, put things out there that might help you. Uh, so thank you all. You have a good night.